Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Four of Pentacles reversed. Next, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Two of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. For your overall energy, you have the Queen of Wands in the upright position. This is a court card. Could be representing a person other than yourself. But I think it's you, Leo. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or rising. This could be you uh, coming up in your own reading, indicating you are on the right path with any action you want to take, um, especially if it's concerning business, if it's concerning travel, if it's concerning passion and adventure. You could be dealing with another person like this, and perhaps, you know, they're very prominent in your week. The Queen of Wands is someone who's a real go-getter, could be lighting a fire under you, or you could be doing that to someone else. It could be representative of your spouse, a family member, a friend, co-worker, boss. Again, these are general reads, so just take what makes sense in your scenario. But the Queen of Wands just likes to get things accomplished, get things done, and it takes physical action when it comes to the Wands. It's not something you can you know, envision or something that you can imagine. This is something you have to do. So whatever it is you need to do, you're on the right path, just do it, Leo. Just move towards things in that direction. Right at the beginning of the week, you have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. <laughs> For some of you, the Four of Pentacles in the upright position, because it can indicate savings and sort of uh, structured finances. When the card is reversed, this can indicate finally like paying off a credit card or paying off a loan or paying off your car or something like that, or even your mortgage. This is about finally paying it off so you don't have those structured payments any longer. Or if you were putting money aside, you were saving money for something. And now, you know, that money has uh, been expended to the item you were saving it for. You no longer have to save. Um, <clears throat> for others of you, this could be about releasing um, old belief systems. It could be about releasing items. Like I call this my little hoarder card. When it's reversed, some of you could be purging a lot of your material goods. Like say you're having a garage sale or you're just getting rid of your stuff, giving it away, throwing it away, selling it, just moving on. Just sort of, it feels so good to do that. It really does. When we just let go of all of our stuff, sometimes our stuff can, our material goods can weigh us down, right? <laughs> Moving on to the next card, you have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Aces always usher in something new. And the Ace of Wands is the something new, is something fun, exciting, passionate. Sometimes the Ace of Wands can indicate passion returning to a relationship or uh, our work situation, our career. We can lose passion over time just because we get bogged down by other things. This can be that the passion is returning for some of you. For others of you, the passion is starting. It's just the beginning. It could be a passionate new idea. It could be um, uh, an opportunity even to travel, to go into business, or to start something new and fun and exciting. <laughs> Next card is the Two of Wands. It's interesting. The story of the tarot, the Two of Wands follows the Ace of Wands, right? This is taking the initial energy from the Ace of Wands and building on that. It's progressive energy as we move forward. Two of Wands is interesting because a lot of... Um, a lot of people feel like the Two of Wands is like an indecisive energy, like the Two of Swords. And it kind of is in a way, because I always, I often, not always, but I often say that the Two of Wands is like being caught between, you know, the past and the future. It's like letting go of the past. and and But you're more focused in on the future, because if you look at the card, this person here is holding onto a globe and is holding on to only one of the wands. So it's to me, it's as the, the decision is made to move forward. I have taken um, 
action to move forward we see you taking action so you could be many of you could be starting something new it could be a new passionate relationship or it's at the beginning stages or it could be a new you know you're building something you could be building a home you could be building something a structure uh, you know on your property you could be building a business and this is definitely one foot in the past one foot in the future but definitely future focused and the last card you have is the eight of pentacles in the upper right position perfect card to follow um, the beginning of something right it looks like you could be starting a lot of you could be starting a new business or a new career and this is you working diligently it's weekend energy but hey sometimes people work for the weekend right everybody's working for the weekend well if you're a leo anyway this is uh working really hard and really diligently to bring something forward it's like i know i can build on this and i know it will be successful i just need to be nose to the grindstone just this is i call it the worker b card where you're just working tirelessly towards um a successful end so it's a pretty straightforward reading actually this is all about having the opportunity to start something new and then being so motivated that you start building on it so that's what i have for you my dear leos let me know in the comment section below if this is resonating for you and do tell us how so so i hope you have a fantastic week and thank you very much for joining me and i hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week take care bye bye for now